The National Bank of Bahrain, NBB, recently held its new business online banking platform at the Four Seasons Hotel Bahrain. More than 150 participants attended the forum, which highlighted the new platform and its features. The attendees were briefed by NBB officials on the means to harness the power of the world-class features and solutions the new platform provides. Um, thank you first for having me. This initiative actually is about the uh, SME services that we're offering, especially the business online banking which we are launching today for our valued customers. And this will enable the customers to, in, to, be, to be able to transact online for all corporates and their needs for uh, salary processing, um, transfers, bill payments and other services that they can transact today online with National Bank of Bahrain. Well, first of all, we are the national bank, so we have to be doing things safely. And uh, we have two-factor authentication, and there are multiple layers of security. So we have only launched one of the safest uh, solutions uh, internationally available. We have gone with renowned vendors uh, that are world worldwide leaders in, in this service, and we are providing the best service that's available today in the market for our customers. Uh, actually, this is not a sudden thing. I mean, we have been offering such a service and uh, giving our customers the ability to view their statements, specifically the, uh, the corporate uh, customers. They're able to view their transactions and their statements online. Since 2012, we've launched this. But now, given the need and given, given the, 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 the desire for our customers to transact uh, on the fly and be able to do do their transactions wherever they are in the world this has now it, it's it's now time for us to to extend this service and provide them a transactional service uh, wherever they are whether they're locally available in Bahrain or they're spread out over multiple uh, um, offices they can transact using our service online Um, banks generally do not go wrong in this if they've got the two-factor authentication, if they've got multiple layers of security, and they have initiators, approvers, specifically for corporate uh, transactions, which are, which are much larger than the, the general retail transactions. So for the corporate transactions now, you have much, much larger uh, ticket sizes, but you have initiators, approvers. So, so if there's going to be a fraud, it's going to have to go through all of these layers, all of these people, individuals, and all of the factors of uh, verification have to be compromised, which is fairly difficult. And that is why, first of all, we are complying with the Central Bank of Bahrain and the rules and regulations in providing services with two-factor authentication. And we are extending that to our customers in a way that, that secures the transactions as much as possible given, given these, uh, the tools available today. Generally, the, uh, the scams that you're talking about are normally phishing attacks and, and other things which, which are not, uh, not directly related to the internet banking services, but, but some people may be defrauded of exposing their credit card details, their uh, CVV numbers and other security parameters that they have available with them, but through, through a phishing email or, or other, other means of, uh, of scam, they, they are exposed and they expose themselves. So we all always remind our customers the bank will never contact them via email asking them for personal information. If they get a phone call directly from the bank, they will have to refer back, specifically for our corporate customers, they should refer back to their uh, relationship manager to ensure that this is a genuine thing because we do not send out such uh, 
uh, such unsolicited emails, and they always have to check. Customers have to always check the website and the the, the name that they are accessing. So, so they should ensure that the domain name they are accessing is the actual bank's name and not something uh, that that's that's similar but but uh, but fraudulent. Uh, okay, this this is actually our first step into uh, into the online services for corporates, and now we're targeting now for the SMEs, and uh, we will we will be able through the services we are launching today, we'll be able to satisfy the SME uh, needs uh, from transfers and other uh, services that they require. Uh, going forward, the next steps, and uh, hopefully uh, th this will this will happen within the next. Uh, probably within the next 12 months or so, we will be launching a much more enhanced service of online banking for corporates, and this will serve the, uh, the corporates from A to Z, from the smallest corporates right up to the biggest uh, uh, enterprises. Uh, basically, the the online banking is is a platform. It's a window into their uh, into their uh, their profile and their their assets with the bank, their accounts and other things. So. No, nothing is stored on the online banking platform itself, but these things are immediately, these are instructions given to the bank, or, or on, the, on the other side, if, if you want to see your balances and your statements, it reads it for you and, and displays it. But there's nothing stored on the online banking. So with respect to security and other things, this, they're, they're, they're completely safe and secure. Um, okay, for the, I mean, today our, our launch is for the SMEs, so this is from the small to the medium enterprises, and uh, I, I would just like to tell them what are you waiting for, come on, uh, register for our service, because I'm sure that we will fulfill your needs, um, and then for the individuals out there, which is uh, not to do with corporate, but the actual, uh, the retail individuals also, we have uh, launched uh, at the end of last year, we've launched our retail internet banking, We've uh, also launched our mobile application, and we have a surprise coming in the in the coming uh, roughly around six months or so. We have another surprise coming for our retail clients. So we are aggressive on our uh, retail and corporate uh, online banking services. So if you're not a customer, if you're thinking of becoming a customer, don't think twice. Just register, get your account with us, and you will be pleased. Sure, well, thank you very much for, for those pleasant comments. Um, I guess this is part of uh, digital transformation, uh, which we're very much kind of part of. A lot of focus here in Bahrain around technology, around the adoption of technology, about Bahrain being a fintech hub. Um, so we just want to be part of that. We want to ride that kind of wave, do the right thing internally for our own staff and employees, but also for our clients and our customers as well. So this is just the first of a number of initiatives that we're taking to help drive Bahrain forward in terms of digital adoption. So we're delighted that uh, we're holding this event today. Sure, I don't think it's necessarily just um, immediately for, for, for SMEs. Um, we have a full range of, of digital offerings, whether you're a personal customer in our personal capacity or for businesses. So right across the range. So this is just adding to the portfolio of, of products and services that we've got, say whether it's managing your own personal finance or, or, or managing your business finance.
Well, we, we've actually had a service for a number of years, um, but we didn't particularly kind of promote it. Um, also, we have kind of quite slow adoption by our, our customers here in Bahrain. So I think there's part of it is, is an education. Um, part of it is for people to feel secure that the services, to understand that it makes running their business on a day-to-day -day basis easier than it is at the moment. Um, so therefore, we've, we sort of revitalized the product that we've had and, and really bringing it to the public's greater attention, which is part of what we're doing today. Inevitably, all, all the competition, right? So all the, all the banks that are here in Bahrain, as well as the region and internationally, um, offer an online banking service. It's, it's nothing new. Um, I've been around in banking for quite a number of years. I was launching business online banking services 15 years ago. So it's not new, but, but things develop and change all the time. Um, so the competition is out there all the time. And I think it's one of those good things because um, as we all compete and provide an enhanced service, then it benefits everybody. You know, the banks, the clients, the businesses themselves, the staff, the accountants, whoever it might be, all benefit from, from these developments. So we're just part of that wave. I think from an uh, implementation perspective, I think it starts with education. Um, so understanding what the customer needs are, how they operate at the moment, and in many cases going out and having individual conversations with them to understand how they're operating, and for us to, to bring to them ideas around how they can become more efficient as a business. And the more of that that can move online, I think benefits all parties. So I think a, a lot of it starts there, and a lot of the investment that we're making is to gradually go through our customer base and have those direct engagements to do training, education, and, and to bring them on board, to give them the confidence that, that actually this is a great service which enhances the way that they operate day to day. So um, I have the privilege of being the Chief Marketing Officer at, at MBB. So this is one of the roles that I have. Um, we cover campaigns and PR, sponsorship, but also I have um, the responsibility of looking after all of our digital uh, products, if you like, and the development of those from our roadmap. So I look after the personal online banking as well as the business online banking and a number of the other digital projects that we have. So this is part of the portfolio, understanding customer needs, having customer insight and meeting those needs with products and services. I think it's absolutely vital. Um, so there's still a lot of, of kind of traditional methodologies in place in terms of whether it's um, paying your staff, whether it's paying your suppliers, whether it's moving money internationally. A lot is paper-based, a lot of it is time-consuming and, and open to error. So obviously moving to digital, moving to an online service kind of creates that efficiency, that accuracy, that speed of delivery. Um, so, so really it's, it's about businesses really being able to concentrate on the art of being in business and making money and growing their client book and let some of these administrative things, if you like, um, become kind of more efficient by, by using online services. Well, of course, I'm going to say it's vital. I'm the chief marketing officer, so uh, it's part of, part of my role. Obviously, we have colleagues both in the business and the retail side of the, of the bank who, who look at product development. Um, but obviously, my role is to bring that to the attention of, of our clients and customers and even non-customers to really kind of promote what we do, um, to attract them to, to MBB. Uh, we're the national bank, so we feel that we should be playing a leading role here in the economy, both for people individually as well as businesses. So a vital role to create awareness of who we are and obviously consideration as well. So people tend to know who MBB are here. We are the national bank. But then considering us for products and services, that's a big part of what I do as part of my marketing role. Um, I think uh, I'd like to say to them, 
please be aware we will be out to talk to you. We'll be um, following this session today with, with, with more um, awareness, consideration, um, generating activities. Uh, and to really be open-minded to do it, whether it's with ourselves or with, it, with, with their incumbent bank at the moment. I think you know, part of this is just a general play to, for the benefit of Bahrain and Bahrain's businesses generally, whether they bank with us or not, just to be aware of these capabilities to, as I say, to, to allow them to concentrate on the real aspects of, of generating and growing their businesses. Well, I'll speak as an accounting consultant. Um, for us, it's very important um, while doing the bookkeeping for our, our clients and providing them with, with services, um, it becomes much more easier when they have online banking for two main reasons. Um, we can have access to their transactions on, on frequent enough basis that would help us give them more informed, informed uh, information for them to take better decisions. And the other thing is um, given for SMEs and how their business is running, um, it is easier for them to um, control their business when they have uh, online services uh, where they can actually um, pay their service providers directly from, the, uh, from their online portal, uh, makes the flow uh, a more organized organized and, and an easier process for sure. Um, we still have a lot of clients are, that are that have access to online banking, but they are resistant to actually um, use it because of that. But I think um, initiatives like the one um, hosted by NBB today and, and more to come, inshallah, in the future, will help educate uh, the general public that the banks are putting in place a lot of uh, security measures, a lot of controls to prevent such uh, such crimes, and to while while spreading this awareness and explaining to people what could be the risk, how can they protect themselves. Just, just to, to have these, those issues communicated to people, I am 100% sure that people will be more um, um, induced to, to use those services uh, once they understand that the security is there and once they understand how much easier it is to do online banking. I think this is um, this is a process that happened a while back. It, it, I mean, it's not something that has just been introduced um, um, to the corporate or the SMEs world. Um, I think the corporate industry in Bahrain is very well educated, and they are um, on a on a very good ground using those services. I think it's more for the SMEs and and the smaller businesses that we need to spread that awareness. And I think this is why NBB is is, is concentrating on SMEs at this point in time time.